previous game. Oh. My. God. No, but really though, the, that game was really, at the beginning it was more of a game of patience. A lot of, de a lot of good defense done by both teams, and then I was actually kind of thinking that Take the Lantern was Okay, apparently they're disbanding the game. But uh, uh, I thought that uh, option 12 was going to start uh, snowballing off of uh, bullying Ace at the beginning, but I was very wrong about that. They were able to turn it around and take the lantern just was able to just demolish all the defenses that option 12 was putting up. I feel like it was a lot of opportunities just from them roaming around the map that option 12 just wasn't prepared for. And that was really helping them out. They, I mean, they were just able to take down towers like nobody's business. The Lucian just doing good damage on it. Uh, Zach diving in on everybody. It seemed like that option twelve just, just was not prepared for that. And they got a kudos to take the lantern for taking those opportunities. Yeah, it was really impressive to see that. Um, they were able to rotate in such a fashion. It was the rotations that killed them for sure. And I'm wondering how the uh, picks and bans, bans particularly, will be adjusted based on that. I think we're going to see a Zach ban relatively quickly coming out, coming out of option 12 here. I don't, know about, I don't know about getting rid of Agar. I mean, sure, Ace was dominant on him, but he would have done the same as Lux. Correct. Yeah. It, it's really... It's, it's really hard to ban, especially when you have somebody like that, and it seems like that everybody just has a kind of like tunnel vision whenever they're playing against Ace, which is, it can be a good thing, but I also think it's a bad thing, because then you kind of forget about the other t uh, team members. Right. Right. And, think... oh, go, go ahead. ahead. Nope, I was interrupting mid-sentence. Go ahead. I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, that's my combo break for the day, folks. Thank you. Uh, uh, I think... <laughs> For option 12, you ban the Zack, you drop the uh, Trundle, and you pick up Nunu. Uh, I, I'm calling Nunu out on this one because his incredible invade potential. Uh, I think if you're able to put Gotta Get Lucky far enough back, uh, you're going to see a huge impact in these games because he is the controlling factor in pacing for Take the Lantern. Yeah, I could see that. It seemed like that Trundle was kind of lagging behind, too, in the jungle. Uh, that was just my take on it. I could be totally wrong about that, but that's just... It, it seems like that Trundle usually has more of a presence in games. In this game, it, he was doing his job pretty decent, but it just didn't seem like he was able to catch anybody. But again, that might also be because of just Take the Lantern just sticking together. He wasn't really able to catch anybody because somebody was always around the corner. Yeah. I would certainly um, agree with that 100%. Um, I'm not too sure how they're going to decide to play this. We're going to have to see where they decide to focus. But, um, you know, we're going to head into it. We're going to see. Also, uh, just for everyone who might be wondering, Gotta Get Lucky did switch his profile over to the Annie Bear. So everyone <laughs> is coordinated now. There you go. Well, now I'm upset that he gave in to peer pressure. You could have stayed strong. Re way to really let everyone down. He just joined the bandwagon. I, I, I'm happy to see special snowflakes in the LCUS. All right. Disappointed, man. So, in our dinosaur matchup, the T-Rex, the section out of T-Rex, that might be an Allosaurus, is uh, currently winning. We have Getting rid of the Lucian right out of the gate. Well, it is always traumatizing when you play against Andy. It's yours. It's true. But I mean, I, I feel like there are better bands that you could make. I don't know. Looks like uh, Lismachus and Truffle did not uh, pair up properly. So, Lismachus oh, is goodness. not the jungler. Just throwing that out there for everybody. Alright, so either Anivia is the third band or Option 12 is going to go to pick Anivia first. We'll see if Take the Lantern compensates for that or if they don't care. They're thinking about it. Yeah, they're, they're trying to decide. My it seems just like normal bans, well, not normal, the same bans that we saw in the last game. Yeah, coming out of Take the Lantern. If they ban Malzahar, that'll be the exact same three bans they did last time, but I think yeah. they might still need to consider the Anivia. I'm hoping Option 12 does not ban Anivia here. 
I'm hoping they take that ban and get rid of Zack. And then... Oh, they let the Zack go through, theoretically, unless they first pick Zack. Not a lot of good options here. I guess it depends what we find out what they're scared of. Well, they have 12 options. I'm sure that one of them is a winning game. Maybe. I have oh. traveled to the future. Uh, and I can tell you, out of all the potential outcomes, there's only one where they win. Uh, Do all of them die? Spoilers. Or, wait, no, no. Half of them die. Spoilers. 70% of them. Alright, so they do pick the Zack. I would have been interested to see what they would have picked if Anivia had gone through. Uh, I would have think that you were put on your profit hat and was calling it out pretty accurately. And that's probably why I take a lantern booted to ban it, because they just didn't want to deal with it, but kind of uh, they're sticking to their guns to do with the Lulu first pick. No Zack for them though. Yeah, we'll have to see what they decide to work with instead. There are other options. We do. We have seen uh, Gotta Get Lucky play other junglers in the past. So we'll see what happens here. I think they're also just... Warwick. Okay, so they just grab the Maokai right away rather than having Darien get double banned out. Hmm. Which may have been possible, but I don't think they would have spent the second ban on Darien when... They still have to ban out Ace. Alright, so the Malzahar goes through. What a world where you're more scared of Anivia than Malzahar. <laughs> Welcome to the LCUS. I'm interested to see what uh, Andy plays here with Lucian gone. Will he play Kai'Sa? Will he play Jin? We still got one more banning phase to go through for that too. I feel like is going to be a priority for either team. Hmm, Shogath. We haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, he's kind of fallen off with all of the shuffling rounds going on in the meta. Not to mention right. we've had a lot of top laners getting to play their favorite champs rather than the meta champs. So mm. we've seen more Shens, we've seen more Malphites, uh, Darius, things of that nature. Alright, Kai'Sa. There's the Kai'Sa. Interesting. Okay, so jungle Forward. and uh, mid lane are what's left for Take the Lantern. And uh, option 12 still needs, I guess, probably support in ADC. Though Malzahar could be support, I guess. Mm -hmm. Couldn't Maokai be a jungle as well? He could be, but considering how Darien played him last game. Yeah, they might just keep that. I'm, I'm just wondering if they're keeping options open, like trying to throw them off so that Darien could get a top laner that he's more comfortable with. Sure. I, I don't know. I mean, mo mostly when we see the top lane after Malphite gets banned, Maokai's is number two. Hey man, I just want to see my games, okay? Sure, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, maybe it's ADC Lulu. We, we, we don't, just don't know. Uh, banning out that Morgana is a good idea. Uh, that's one of Ashway's favorites. Also, we'll give whoever it's used on that extra bit of anti-CC tech. Alright, so I'm guessing... Oh, they banned Lux themselves. Now, well, guess what? You're not getting Lux either. I'll bet we don't even need Lux. Uh, that could be them slyly telling that that's Kai'Sa mid. I, I, I'm not seeing Ace playing Kai'Sa mid. That's just not what's happening. You sure about that? I, I'm 70% sure that's not what's happening. I'm, I'm voting for that, 30%. That's probably not a thing, but, you know. Against some Malza... Eh? I don't know. With this meta, I don't know. Y'all saw bot lane. <laughs> We're top. We're mid. Something. Something. Kooky. I don't know. Kooky. Targ jungle. Oh wait, we did that before the meta was fucked. Excuse my language. <laughs> Alright, well, so... All right. uh, I think next split we're gonna see the uh, 1996 uh, uh, Lakers as a playable option. <laughs> <I'm excited. laughs> Ooh! Ooh, Hello. Vain. Hello, Vane. Hola, como esta? Got a lot of that good maneuverability to help him dodge a lot of the crap that Mokai puts out. Mokai puts out. <laughs> and the heal bus. Alright. Where's Kaisa going? 
Drum roll. What? Uh, <laughs> Evelyn. Fiona. Rise. Rise. Bueller. Swain. All right. Told you. Okay. <laughs> There's the Swain. Told you. All right. All right. I can get behind these. Going against the grain a little bit from what we've seen. Look, I top trouble. Juggle. Yep. All right. So jungle is switch. The, the jungles have switched sides, folks. We'll see how Shufflesaurus does on Zack and Trundle with uh, Gotta Get Lucky. Ace pulling out that Swain instead of Rise. Probably a good idea up against uh, Malzahar. Because with Malzahar's anti-magic shields, you can't necessarily rely on Rise's full combo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, nice to see some more natural tanks over there in option 12. Durability did seem to play kind of a big deal in that last game, just because of how quickly they were getting deleted by Vagar. But we will see how that works out for them. They don't have to worry about Vagar anymore. Exactly. That's but why you have bans. I do have to say the bot lane is going to be interesting with Vayne versus Kaisa. I wonder who's going to come out on top for that. Well, Kais has a little more ranged opportunities there, so that'll be interesting to see how Vayne handles that. Um, right. Not not great, but obviously with Soraka there, the poke probably won't hurt too much. Mm -hmm. um, Gregosaurus has teched that ignite, so Vayne may end up getting deleted more th than usual. That's probably what they want to go for, anyways, because their option twelve is going to have to protect the Vayne. <laughs> Clegg Strong wants to get that Penta. They're not going to allow it, though. We will have to see how it goes. Um, with uh, Trundle and Zack, I mean, let, let's, let's think about this for a little bit here. Um, Trufflesaurus was playing very aggressive as well last game. He was the one who basically started most of the ganks um, there in the mid lane that led to all the carnage and then the, the chaos. So I could see him doing a similar mid lane focus. Um, Swain, obviously a little more durable than Vagar, but lacks the stuns. So we'll have to see if Ace is able to, uh, I guess, stay alive, for lack of a better word, there in that mid lane in that matchup. I think that option 12 definitely have more of a pick comp. Uh, where they're going to be looking for those crucial kills in the bot side with Kaisa and the mid mid lane with Swain, uh, but the team fight is still incredibly in favor of Team Take the Lantern. Yeah, once again, we do have a lot of uh, team fight focus out of Take the Lantern here. I think they've got a lot of good damage, a lot of good, not even necessarily um, hard CC, but they do have a lot of slows, and sometimes slows can be even more um, impactful in team fights. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to seeing if I can, if I can, you know, get a grasp on that. And not miss as many deaths this time, guys. I'm sorry about that. You're good. But I, I find it kind of interesting. It seems like option 12, I don't know if this is their plan, but it seems like they kind of thought about taking line and grouping up like that. Because, I mean, we have Zach. Malzahar, even Cho'Gath a little bit, Zack with his ultimate and his just his abilities to stop people from moving Malzahar with his malzahar -iness. <laughs> and Cho'Gath with his knock-up and everything. I feel like that they might be trying to go for a more aggressive game so that they could get a little bit more damage on a group of people, especially with Vayne coming in from the back and just getting a bunch of kills off. Just a thought. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, flanking will be a big part of this, and it's interesting to see option 12 having a team that has a little bit of that flanking edge, considering that last game it was uh, Take the Lantern who was doing all the flanks. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, Ace still with that northern front skin, the second weakest Swain skin of all time, in my opinion. But it does it, have good synergy with the Winter Wonder Lulu, though, so... It does, and it has an eye patch, like the Junkyard Trundle. 
So I guess I uh, take the land and wins that just because of synergy. What you say about Soviet Russia? I didn't say anything about Soviet Russia. I said synergy. General, General Swain, you know. Sure. What you? Okay. All right. I'm gonna leave uh, Nichols' racism behind us as we move into the game. Culturism. Culturism. Racism. In no. Soviet Russia cultures you. I have nothing but respect for Russia. Everything's bigger there. Or is that Texas? It's Texas. Alright. So it looks like a little bit more aggression coming out of option 12 this time. May go for an invade. Gotta get lucky as... Oh! Alright. Right. Out of the gate. That was close, but I think he's gonna get out. Nice little area poke there. Worth noting that um, Ashway did go for Star Call level 1. So, gonna be poke heavy early on here. Have to see how it goes for him. Yeah. I'm actually. If, if they were going for that invade, I'm surprised she didn't go with Equinox first. But mm -hmm. maybe had been decided. Probably more. That was more of an opportunity than they thought they were going to get. Uh -huh. I feel like that's going to be more for their laning phase. They just want to do some poke damage to Andy and Gregosaurus. For sure. I would have actually loved to see if that Equin if she had picked Equinox, because they would have at least probably gotten a flash out of that trundle. Oh yeah, definitely. But such as it is, after a little friendly poking, everyone goes back to their lanes and their lives. I should probably swap that... Uh back is not middling. Oh, right. Riot, I was relying on your clever programming as a crutch, and you let me down. Ah, funny joke. Oh, Clegstron going right in on Gregosaurus, but trade goes a little bit more in Greg's favor there. Ashray without the healing, so any poke damage is good damage. And, uh... Darian is already down in CS, and we're only two minutes in. Not terrible. That is something that's going to be a little bit more annoying in the top lane because we have Cho'Gath. Clag very low lane. here. I would like to see Gregosaurus flash for that, honestly. It could have been just a very good... Ooh. No, just didn't want to go for it. Yeah, I don't know. I would the flash ignite would have killed Clagstrong pretty easily. Sure, Gregosaurus might have died too, but ooh, Ace getting a lot of minion aggro there. Well, now the heal bus is online, folks. Your poke damage is meaningless. You thought you had poke damage. Alright, so gotta get lucky gets that crab. Gregosaurus continuing to be rather aggressive. Really enjoying that Lulu play. Well, they're pushing up so far, I feel like they're just gonna keep on going with it. Don't quite have enough damage to do anything to the turret yet. Plus, uh, Ashway's got poke of her own. Darien getting pretty low, though. Prowler maintaining aggression there, but Darian does have a CS lead for the first time in his life. Let's see how long that lasts. Truffle is here and could help with a gank once he's done with the crab. Uh, they do put a ward down though, anticipating that. Not necessarily in the best spot, but Zack comes from weird angles, so is there a best spot? No. Hmm. He'll just jump over the wall that you didn't ward. Exactly. Like Kane walking through the wall that you didn't ward. Exactly. Alright, big poke here though. Ashway really low. They do flash for it, but Clagstrong tanks the uh, shots there. Prowler's in trouble now. Nope, Prowler, yeah, a lot of trouble. Good eye there. Will he get out? Nope. Oh, it's first blood. Did burn flash as well. So, gotta get lucky once again. Uh, getting a good early kill lead. Bot lane is just getting deleted down here. They aren't dying, but this is all thanks to the heal bus. 
If Ash White was any other support, I think this lane would be going much differently. Mm -hmm. But then again, I suppose if she was playing someone like Leona, they could have just counter the aggression. But that's what's the problem with Soraka. Soraka is not an aggressive champion. Yeah. Also, so no, nothing against, but Soraka is just a little bit more simpler. So it's something you don't have to. Just, just an easier mindset to have. I am the heal bus. Get into my bus. You shall be healed. <laughs> All the buses. It's a bus service. It's got Indeed. great, great health insurance. All right. So now the bot lane has gone back. Big CS difference this time compared to. Last match, we have uh, Andy 11 CS up compared to the equivalent they were for a very long time. Like, they got up to 150 neck and neck the whole game. But we're not seeing that here. No. We do have Clag Strong taking advantage of the absence to get up a little bit more. We'll see if that maintains. Truffle. Truffle. Don't don't die. There. Get, get, your, get your goo. Thank you. He's, oh. got, he's got his passive. Yeah, but it scares me. <laughs> I mean, that's really not how you want to lose your passive. No, 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 no. Alright, more exchanges up there in the top lane. Darien down CS again. Interested to see where the jungles decide to go next. Gotta get lucky, I think. Would like to go top again. Uh, though Prowler is 6 now, so he does have a bit of a uh, health advantage. But it looks like Gotta get lucky he's thinking about it. Does get spotted. What See, is Magnus doing? Is he coming up to help? He might be trying to. Prowler is having some of that survivability coming in here. Here comes a teleport, though, from Ace to help out. This could be a two for nothing. Oh, here's Truffle, there though. Ace did uh, cancel that teleport. Oh, there was a pause. Probably due to the disconnection right there. Really good job there by Truffle reacting to that, getting involved, and saving Lismachus, no question. Yeah, for sure. Not bad at all. I did not even see <laughs> Zach coming through. Exactly what we said. Just jumps over somewhere. <laughs> it looks like that Ace is positioning to try to do something about it as well, but I don't know if he's going to be able to make it in time. I think most of what he's doing now is just anger that he canceled his teleport and is now like, I guess I have to walk. Yeah. We guys are probably like, oh man, I got this. You don't need a TP. Okay. Oh, uh, now there's a Zack. Crap. <laughs> now I have to walk. Like a dirty clip. Yeah, I mean, it's it's Swain. Swain doesn't walk so good, guys. Come on. Yeah, when he walks, he literally walks. <laughs> Swain, get it. Swain gets so upset about having to walk, he just literally pops his ult to fly over there. Yep. So this Riot, is like... I swear, let me cover over the map while I'm a spectator while the game is paused. <laughs> the simple things. Simple things I ask. Very simple things. This is why you gotta play Aurelian Soul, because then you can just fly anywhere. You don't need, uh, you don't need to walk. Nobody walks. Just soar, little dragon. Soar. But we're stuck Here. with old Birdman. Old Birdman. Well, at least he's not like a crazy hermit anymore. Mm. He's distinguished. Not as distinguished as a dragon. Hey, we're back! Oh, this Magus wants them. Gotta get lucky not going for it, though. Good thing that Ace uh, turned back there, otherwise he might have been in a little bit of trouble. <laughs> Alright, Prowler teleporting back. Probably not enjoying being 0-2, but who does? Gotta get those feast stacks going, Prowler. Alright, Ace is gonna get ganked here. Let's see what happens with this. Does pop his ult. Silence helps a little bit there. May blow his ult. This could kill this Machus. It does not. Let's Machus gets out with five. Oh! <laughs> Just tunnel vision right there. He was definitely not going alone. <laughs> Besides the flash for it, that was so close. Good reaction time. Yeah. What was it worth? 
Theoretically, we'll see. That is the first kill for uh, option 12. Jesus. For option 12. Game of pauses. League of pauses. Whose PC is taking a crap right now? I don't know. I mean, it's two of them. We've had uh, Gregosaurus and I think Prowlers. Bo both have been having issues. Yeah. LCUS tech, help, tech support. How may I help you? Yes, could you... Oh, go ahead. Could you fix these computers in two different houses, please? Have you tried turning it off and back on again? That's how they fixed the last two times. Is it plugged in? No, it's not. We've been playing these games not plugged in. Oh, you have the toaster plugged in. Okay, gotcha. Yep, there goes Yeah, Prowler. there it is. We'll miss you, Prowler. Rest in peace. All right, but yeah, if that... Uh, if that had been one pixel off, Ace would have uh, been in a lot of trouble. I'm actually surprised it was Moccasin ult, though. I mean, obviously, when any champion pops a big AoE ability, your your first thought is get out of there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like if Lismachus had ulted, he could have just sustained, and they could have killed Ace. Yeah. But, you especially, know. Especially with Zach there to help out, that probably would have been a lot better for him. It's just one of those things when you have like too many things going through your brain, especially when you're in a fight or flight scenario like that, and you're just like, oh, holy crap, Big Bird Man is coming towards me. Right. Yes, I have a friend to help me, but I feel I feel threatened, therefore I'm going to run away. Also, look at all the uh, all the health potions that uh, Take the Lantern is rocking here. They are stacked with health potions and control wards. One health potion. Ah, uh, ah, uh, two health potions. Just a bunch of tryhards, that's what they are. That's what they are. Not that right. Wait, right. why do you even need health potions? Doesn't your ult give you health back? Does his ult give him health back? I forget. His passive gives him health back. Passive, that's what it was. I mean, his, his ult gives him health back too, but his passive's the big one. Yeah. So, what, what are you doing, Ace? Come on. Well, his passive's got a cooldown. You can't, yeah. can't do it all the time. True, true. Let's see if the chat's saying anything clever. Alright, chat, I'm going to look at you in two seconds before I say something clever. Hey, someone's laughing at me calling them a bunch of tryhards. Excellent. <laughs> happy, to, right. happy to happy to amuse you, yo, Jarek. Excellent. I'm also noticing that only Arcane Soda's been cheering in the chat. As per usual, he needs his throne. How much does he got? One. I could beat that for you, now. You could beat that. I think you should do that. Just get no, in there. no. I, I I know that hole. <laughs> I watched one ad get 10, and then he just buys 500. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. I just, I just know my place. <laughs> He's already concerned you're coming for his crown. You've already put, <laughs> you, you, put, you put the fear in him and it hasn't even started yet. <laughs> Quick, buy 500. How much does that cost? Like 50 bucks or something? I have no idea. I cannot remember. All I know is that it's prices, and they scare me, and I don't want to pay for it. <laughs> Oh, I think I think the cash delay might have finally caught up. Brandana just said something clever. Thank you for that, Brandana. See, I've I've read your chat and I appreciate you. <laughs> All right, I also appreciate that Prowler has rejoined the game, so we should be starting again in a moment or two. One can hope. We have this dramatic shot on my screen here of uh, Andy shooting uh, the Kaisa's long-range missile at Ashway. Will it connect? I don't think it will, assuming she moves well, down. Well, actually, I had about six minutes to predict it, so... <laughs> yeah. Six minutes to just look and click down the whole time. See what happens. She's been, she's been clicking down south for the past six minutes. It does nope. miss. <laughs> well done, Ashway. So sad. So sad. Like, nah, that ain't gonna hit me. I don't need to do nothing. You casters don't know nothing. Well, we didn't because the pause screen was stuck over you. <laughs> Couldn't see yeah. where you were going. <laughs> Alright, so uh, Prowler, despite being down two deaths, is still up in CS. That lovely Cho AoE damage. Getting work done. Ace, uh, also doing pretty well on CS. Lismachus' spell shield is also really doing a lot of work for him. Mm-hmm. 
And Prowler is trying to uh, steal red buff here. Let's see if he gets it. Should. There are no other wards there. I don't think anyone else saw him go that direction. Even if they did, gotta get lucky as helping Ace out. Ace using Blast Cone. Prowler also using Blast Cone. They could get Darien here. I think they might. Big alt there ball. helping out here. Andy very low. Here comes uh, Ace and gotta get lucky. Big pillar there. There goes Clag strong. And Darien just alts and walks out. Trundle, you keep away from that elf. You Unicorn. savage. Unicorn. Unicorn, whatever. Keep away from that ambulance. <laughs> Alright, so first turret should go down here. He's stealing all the CS, because he got a kill, too. Might as well take everything on his way out. Yeah. Alright, going for Ocean Drake as well. Ace throwing down all the wards. We'll see if Truffle tries to steal this. I don't know if it'll be worth. Obviously, Ocean Drake is a good dragon. And Andy is pretty low. He's thinking about... It. Oh. Oh. He just doesn't drive by. He's trying just to nope. show that he's there. He might have been within range of smite if it was uh, was low enough, so they didn't pull it out. Mm -hmm. All right, so Andy goes back, and we have a 3k gold lead here at 10 minutes. How many feast stacks does Show have? Three. Three feast stacks. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Just take taking Nichols jokes here, folks. Come on, man. Yeah, at least try to do the Count Dracula joy boys. Well, I, I only decided to do it when I got to the laugh. <laughs> so, you know, I hadn't committed until then. <laughs> Lismach is catching up in CS a little bit here. Bot lane is evened out in CS as well. Thanks in part to uh, Andy going back after that dragon, I'm sure. And here comes the Lismachus rotation, but he has been seen by literally everything. So, he's not doing anything there. I do have to say, now it seems like Black Strug and Ashway have a little bit more comfortable laning phase right now able to push back rather than being pushed. Yeah, they seem like they have some of the momentum on their side. Um, it helps they had a big minion wave. Truffle gets spotted. It is, it, it is the woe of all Zacks to sit on a, uh, sit on a ward in a brush. Oh, here's the battle of the mid lane that you wanted. Ace is going to lose it. Ace loses it but does not die. Prowler, meanwhile, is going to get picked off for the third time. That cannot be good. Feel good. Wards just uh, aren't even helping. This this gank has been spotted all three times. But uh, gotta get Lucky's tent is too good. Triple. Yeah, he got spotted there, guy. Okay. Almost loses all of his health too. Ooh. Big That's damage. Still up though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 He he wouldn't have necessarily died, but that's still a lot of damage yeah. put out there. Indeed. Nothing to scoff at. And Andy's just got so much uh, so much gold over Vayne here. Vayne finally picking up a recurve bow. Looks like Take the Lantern is uh, going objective hunting here, taking down the Rift Herald. Will help add to their lead, I'm sure. Gotta get lucky grabs it. See where he decides to use it. Looks like he's just heading mid. Nope, not using it now. But Andy has rotated mid as well, so both ADC and AP carry are in the mid lane here. Prompting uh, Ashway and Truffle to join them while Clag Strong stays bot farming. Or if they're trying to form for everybody to come mid lane to Ooh. start taking stuff down. Root there on Ashway, Polymorph. Gets away. Oh, Darien goes for it. 
And then gets hugeified besides. Big ult. Smok is probably going down here as well. Gregosaurus flashes, does not die. Big Zach. Get out of there. Oh. Oh, they are really deep now. Ace ults all the turret aggros on Darien. Who flashes? Now it's all on Ace. Let's get a knock up here, Prowler. Nope. It's going to get hit, though. Red team has summoned Rift Herald. Darien looping back in. Truffle pretty low. Here comes the Rift Herald. There is a rotation coming from Clagstrong here. I don't think it's going to matter. Just a lot of sidesteps, bobbing and weaving, just dodging. All fun. Nope. All right, Truffle's got Darien. He should die here. Big silence. All right, good pick there. And Clagstrong continues to farm. <laughs> I mean, why not? It seems like his teammates have everything under control in the middle lane now. Gotta get that good gold, man. You're a hard carry. Go in the bot lane and hard carry. By yourself for half an hour. Exactly. Well, that's how it works. You have to get the potential to hard carry. Well, yeah, yeah. No not question. Not at that point yet. I mean, you know. Those of us who play Dota, anti-mage goes hangs out in jungle for 45 minutes and then just wins the game. Yeah. You never see him, you don't even realize he's on the team and then suddenly he's on your face and you're dead. That's... Oh, we do have another person on our right, team. Right. It, it isn't oh. a 4v5, imagine that. <laughs> and that's how hard carries work. It... Alright. Uh, 4k gold lead-ish. Close it up a little bit. Darien pick helped. But, uh, got a while to go. Still trying to work for that turret. Darien has forced Clagstrong out of lane. Dragon up in 10 seconds. Another Ocean Drake. Wards from both sides on him. But everyone is posturing for it, so this could be the next big team fight. Prowler is not present, but does have TP. But everyone who picked a land is present here. Let's see what happens. I don't think they're going to have time to go in. No. They're going to try to take over after it, but the Maokai ult over predicts them. That was an interesting ult there by Truffle, moving them toward his mid lane instead of away from it. Passive goes down. That's two down right away. Ult blown by Clagstrong, not able to use it. Yeah, not not great there for uh, option 12 at all. No, not at all. But well done from Take the Lantern for getting that posturing to a more favorable battlefield for them. Just fishing the dragon out and then the, it just didn't seem like that option 12 was able to commit. Yeah. But no. then they overcommitted. <laughs> well, I think the other issue was that they were trying to do a, uh, a pincer attack. And pincer attacks only work if the opponent doesn't focus entirely on one side. Mm. And so with Take the Lantern entirely heading to that left side, it was just really hard for uh, option 12 to do anything about that. Yep. The ward helped too. They had wards all in that area. I can ping actually. Here and here. Guy Lucky in a little bit of trouble here. Here's the catch out they wanted and they do get him. This should be a dead trundle, but he does get hugeified. Does get shut down anyway, and they're looking for more. Ace burns flash, get out of there, and does. All right. So relatively free pick off there. Ash did have to flash, but got the flash from Ace as well. So what do you do 4v5 with no objectives up? Push mid. Do we? Push mid. They aren't listening. That's fine. Prowler is farming. He's at seven stacks. It's big boy. How big's Truffle, by the way? Truffle's only at 2,000 health. Okay. Yeah, Truffle's got to get some more health items. Or any items, period. He's just got his Stalker's Blade and Merc Treads. Mm -hmm. yeah, not really the defensive guy he should be right now. 
Uh-oh. Looks like uh, Clagstrong's in a little bit of trouble here. Lack of wards. He's totally unaware of this, I think. Well, he may know this is coming. Yeah, he's, he's running. We do have a Trundle coming by, though. Let's see if he can get out. They have to know she's here. Yep. Alright, so this is the dead vein. Maybe. We'll see, actually. Good roll there. Might get gotta get lucky. Nope, Ignite's used. Okay. Hmm. Worth noting that Ashway's ult was up. Didn't use it. The heal boss didn't come through. That's why you gotta be nicer to your supports, everybody. Alright, so here comes Prowler down. Doesn't have teleport available because he used it, not that dragon. But it looks like they have a reasonable uh, defensive line here. Oh, big ace ult. Here we go. Truffle taking a lot of damage. Turret aggro is on ace at this moment. Maokai ult misses. There goes the Ashway ult. Little bit too late, I think. Truffle goes down. Ashway goes down. Prowler is left. Lots of turret aggro. Can't quite decide who it wants to be on. Vayne's here. But can Vayne 5v1? Nope. Stopped autoing there. Might have been able to get the Kaisa. Oh, it does get the Kaisa. Never mind. Yeah. You blinked and you missed it. I did blink. <laughs> I didn't see the body either. Does, it not, does the Kaisa not leave a body? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's weird. 911, we cannot find the body. No, we don't need an ambulance. The ambulance is down. She must have some sort of, like, void death animation or something. Yeah, probably. It's sucked up. Alright, so Baron is live. Infernal Drake up in 90 seconds. Top lane's pushing pretty hard. Looks like uh, Prowler's headed up for that. Prowler almost at 3,000 health. Still 7 stacks. Yeah, really great warding from Take the Lantern in this game. I'd like to see a little more out of option 12. Mm. Obviously the warding is not that great at this particular moment, but just almost all of Take the Lantern's successes have come out having good ward placement. Yep. Or negative ward placement from the other team. Right. Just opens up for some good rotations from them. Alright. So, Dragon will probably be the next engagement here. It looks as though there is some rotation towards it. Andy and Darian heading that way. Uh, gotta Get Lucky is in the area. Does he have Smite available? Yes, he does. He's heading top, though, for some reason. Yeah, I think a problem Option 12 is having this game is they seem to be a little bit directionless. Mm -hmm. Most of the time when I'm watching their movement, it's them walking from lane to lane. Whereas uh, Take the Lantern seems to be like establishing presence in the lanes. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of a lack of focus. I mean, yeah, it's a good defense tactic, but it kind of leaves you open to pretty much every all the objectives. And without good board placement, it really doesn't help you out. Alright, Dragon has spawned. Prowler is posturing. Won't necessarily be able to kill uh, everyone there, but his team is waiting. Ooh, Ace manages to take off uh, Clagstrong very handily there. And gotta get lucky is split pushing. So all his posturing at Dragon is just a distraction. As it sometimes is. Ace helps take down the uh, top turret there. Ocean Drake gonna, helping quite a bit. And they're gonna get a dragon and possibly a Zac for jumping in like that. Feels bad. Passive was up, but nope. This could actually turn out to be game here. Or at yeah. least the beginning of the end. Flagstrong coming up here may mean that they're not able to get this. Coming up on a motorcycle. Oh, Ace in a lot of trouble here. Flashes get shut down anyway. Going for more. Lismachus does not have Flash available. 
Clagstrong blows uh, Gotta Get Lucky's Flash. Andy, Darian, and Greg come into support. It's also worth noting that unfortunately option 12 has not gotten any turrets yet either. Yeah, true. That kind of putting, putting themselves back into defensive point. Yeah. It's not really great. That'll certainly help explain the uh, 10k gold differential. Mm -hmm. No turrets, certainly. And that's uh, the danger zone. Certainly hurts. Alright. So they're not going for Baron, but they are making it appear like they are. So we will see where the next stage of this game goes. No dragon available, so it's either Baron or Bust here. We do have, well, not bust, obviously they could just push, but that's where they're headed. Uh, we do have Clagstrong farming and bots, so this should be relatively uncontested. Yep. Easiest Baron Nasher. Yep. All right, now it looks like they're just ready to shove mid. Why not? All right, you can go for bot lane. You still have an inhibitor there. Yeah, I hit the point of most resistance. Nope, actually, maybe they are rotating. All right, they are rotating bot. Get that inhibitor. They heard you. Yeah. Or maybe they're not. Maybe they're just spreading out. They're just doing things. They're split pushing. Jerks. Yeah. Sending Swain down. You're up by 11k gold and you're split pushing? Come on, guys. I just want to put the fear inside of them. Also, it doesn't seem like that they're going to try to. Well, Bane is thinking about it, it looks like, but it doesn't seem like that they're going to try to contest it. Bane and Zach. Swain is coming back, though. Oh, and they go in on Ace. Let's see what happens here. A lot of damage. Ace is going to go down here. Let's see if they're able to keep it going. Everyone jumps on that. Really great play there by Treffle getting them off of Vayne, but it's probably not enough. Treffle flashes to get out of there. Gregosaurus gets out extremely low as well. Huge damage potential coming out here. Darian and Greg incredibly weak. Where's my Karth Assault? Oh, we're going for Andy's Penta. Another Penta. Pentakill! There it is. That was actually, I mean, that was the best that option 12 could have hoped for there. Obviously, they didn't win the fight. They most likely lost the game from there. But the damage they put out there, they almost picked off three members of uh, Take the Lantern. If they weren't 10k gold down, they probably would have. All right. So with uh, yeah, with the great effort there from uh, option twelve in both games, but take the lantern just shows complete dominance, and take the lantern is now in first place as we will head into the playoffs next week. Oh boy, it's they like just really wanted to prove us wrong by saying, "Yeah, we're gonna win." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check out some graphs. Yep, high damage coming out of uh, Kaisa. Ace almost getting o outdone by the Vayne. Not a huge surprise there. Vayne was really turning on toward the end. If the game had gone maybe another 10 minutes, I think it might have been different. But that goal lead was just so massive. Mm -hmm. Alright, excellent. Yeah, the, uh, the, the Rex reigns supreme as Gregosaurus says. And we have a quick interview here with Gotta Get Lucky, so let's hop over there. Hey, Gotta Get Lucky, how you doing? Doing good. It's a fun night to be playing League. <laughs> Especially when you win, right? Hey, we just follow one motto on uh, Take the Lantern. Stop, die. I thought it was Take the Lantern. Mm hmm Yep, we follow one motto on Take the Lantern. Stop, die. 
Okay. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, about uh, the main thing I want to ask about just really quick is the um, the transition between game one and game two. You made a very dominating performance um, as Zach in that first game. Congratulations on that. And then they take Zach away from you and you take who they were using. Is that just, you know, your your next default choice is that Trundle? Or were you thinking, well, I'll just do what they did then? I find Zach to be a very good counter into Trundle if Zach's played right. I find Trundle to be a very good counter into Zach if played right. It, it Due to uh, Zach not stacking armor right away. Due to Trundle being able to... Uh, uh, harass in the jungle and uh, kind of split push and take some of the pressure off the team fight. So um, it was definitely uh, it was definitely uh, one of my fun picks for going into Zach. And uh, there was a little uh, I think we can prove them wrong that this is actually a counter to Zach. Well, it did seem to work out getting that uh, having a tr truffle uh, shut down the way you guys did certainly helped. Yeah, I credit some great warding by uh, Ace on that one. Uh, his idea to ward that blue buff and, uh, yeah, set things up perfectly to uh, start things off beautifully from the beginning. Excellent. You got anything for our jungler here, Nickel? Nope. You pretty much asked everything <laughs> I was going to ask. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> Just well done, man. Thanks, well played. Yeah, congratulations. About that stop die. Congratulations on your first place. Thank you. All right. Have a good rest of your week, and we'll see you in the playoffs. See you then. All right, so now we will move in to the second set of games of the night, which will be Phoenix versus Blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg, uh, pretty heavy with subs on their final game of the split here, looking for their first win still. Phoenix could move into second place, so very exciting to see if they're able to pull that off. Uh, we'll be back in a few minutes when we get those games set up, so please don't go anywhere. We will be right back. <laughs> 